Yes, yeah, so it's folks. Now it is springtime in Melbourne. It's the first warm day or hot day we've had for a long time. We hit about 26 degrees. It's going to get up to 29, maybe 31 the following day, then back down to 18. Maresi. Now, <laughs> actually, I don't like it like that. I like it constant. You know, if it's going to be 25 every day, stay there and keep the wind away. Now, I was meant to fill up the raised garden bed, but it is too hot, so I'm going to let it go till tomorrow morning early so we can get up early and do it before the sun gets up too high. Left it a little bit late today. But in the meantime, I thought let's touch base on fruit fly, citrus gall wasp. And I know we've been on these topics before, but because we've actually in the heart of the warmer weather now, or at the beginning of the warm weather, I should say, um, with fruit fly acti activity going out crazy, it's all over it. Victoria and sorry for those from other parts of Australia you've already probably got fruit fly um, active in Victoria it's becoming active because our temperatures are just starting to creep up to the warmer days where the fruit fly loves it and now what it does to your fruit if you haven't seen it before for those who have never seen fruit fly well I haven't got one to show you but it, it is like a fly but a thinner and longer one and it puts a little hole in the side of your fruit and it starts to rot out through. So the larvae go inside, they, they penetrate through and they start to leave off an excretion which causes a, a fungi to develop and the fruit starts to rot. Now when it does rot, it falls to the ground, you've got to pick them up. You can't leave them, you've got to bag them. So the first reference is to go around and cite any fruit that may have been infected or looks like it's rotting out. Take it off the tree, bag it in a black plastic bag it can be a clear if you like but black plastic bag so you can get the sun rays hitting on it and tie it up properly and let it bake so you're solarizing it and what that does it kills off all the babies inside the larvae the, the grubs and any adults potential adults developing from there as well but you also need to protect your trees now we're standing next to our fruition trap here we've got two types both use the same style trapping uh, but they have a completely different lure inside which is in this housing now here is the fruit fly uh, trap setup configuration which has two lures a, a protein lure and a sugar lure and they've been specifically designed to catch the egg laying female fruit fly so it's all good getting a trap up in your tree um, to attract predominantly the juvenile ones which will be the both, both male and female and males um, adults we've got one here that's specifically designed and it will attract the female I'm lucky enough or we're lucky enough out here that we haven't had any fruit fly and I don't expect to see any fruit fly anytime soon but there are other parts I was in the Yarra Valley last weekend doing the, uh, the garden fair the plant fair and people everywhere there were telling me of fruit fly sightings and they really are concerned. So you need to get your traps up, hang them up, they're on our website, super special. This is the one for your fruit trees, for fruit fly. And this one here is for our citrus gall wasp insect folks. So they both use the same housing, same sticky board, but different lure. Specifically designed patented lure to attract the egg laying female citrus gall wasp. So you don't get those gnarly branches of, of swales that develop on the, on the tree, which causes it to drop all its leaves and eventually probably die back as well. And I've seen some trees really suffering because of the excessive galls left on there. Now for this here, you need to prune them off, remove all the uh, existing new ones that is any old galls that may have some little holes on them they're empty they've been discarded so focus on the new growth that's where it gets attracted um, or is attracted to and it starts to cause the damage hang yourself up a fruition citrus gall wasp trap for your citrus trees and get yourself a fruition uh, fruit fly trap for your fruit trees now talking about citrus trees folks you've got to check out Yanni from Thornbury now his place we filmed many many years ago but it's a beautiful tree and he does some air layering on the tree growing new plants on a plant check it out now you've got a big tree here first things first it's very tall do you like it like that yep yep I like okay. it. all right i'm not going to complain about that second is you're actually painting the trunk whitewash those of Tall. yep with a lime yeah with a lime builder's lime yeah what's that for Keep the tree healthy. Keeps the, yeah. It does keep it healthy. <laughs> it actually protects the tree from disease and yeah, insects yeah, yeah, traveling yeah, up yeah, and down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the traditional thing that we do yeah. with uh, most trees, or if, if anything, all trees, is hydrate lime, whitewashing them. And that protects them from fungal bacteria, insects traveling up and down the tree as well. Now, the third point here is that you've got a pot up there in a tree. Now, that pot didn't land there by accident, did it? No. Nah. You put it there yourself. I put it. Yes, yeah. grow another, another lemon inside. You're growing another lemon tree inside, inside. there. Now, yeah. You're growing roots in the air. Ah, in the soil. Good in, soil well, in the soil, but it's up in the sky. Yeah. So you yeah, haven't yeah. cut a branch to propagate and stick it in the ground. Can you explain it, to us how you've done that's it? That's different. Put in the cut of the pot, 
before put the pot, take the the skin from the bridge. So over here? Like, no, the top one. Okay, so... I'll show you how good it, like okay. it is. Yeah. So you scratch the bark, the skin off it, uh, all the way around. After put the pot, put the soil, and after when it under the pot, just take all the skins out, just leave a little bit there. After six months, cut everything because the roots start to grow. Oh, okay. So you scratch the skin off here. You yeah. don't peel it off. No, no. Just scratch like this. Yeah, like that. That's it. And then you put soil and pot around it. Yeah. But then underneath the pot here, take you, all the skin. you yeah, take just, it off. Just leave small piece to survive the, the tree. After six months, oh, you, take you, it off. Ah, oh, so you leave a little piece to ring bark it, yeah. but don't leave enough so the sap flows. Yeah. So, what we're doing here is actually stressing the tree out. By removing most of the bark, they were almost ring barking it, causing the sap to flow through only one portion of it, which also stresses the tree to think that it's actually going to die. So what it'll do is push out new roots here because it's damaged them and marked all the bark on the outside. The sap flows just below the outside layer, the cambium layer, and that's what we want to be able to capture in here. And when it does release and makes direct contact with the soil, that's the damaged skin, you get new roots. Now you say it takes six months? Six months, yeah. I leave after to make it more steady. Yeah. When it gear, chop it and put it in the ground, no problem. Where's that going? Right. Right. <laughs> what about my place? Can you do one for me? I can do it. You are, no worries. <laughs> all right. What we haven't spoken about here is all the wiring, all the cabling you got up because there. Before it's too big, I'm scared by the bracket. I'll tie him, I'll tie it's a web of wood. string and rope. I tie them up, make more safe. Yes, the bridge should break. It's been a long time like that, hasn't it? Oh, I it's, think it, it's 25 years old. You're not going to take it off, are you? No, why? You like it's, it like that? It, like it looks good, huh? It looks like good. It it's a great thing we have. <laughs> <laughs> no, no problem with the wind can break the oh, yeah, no, no, no. It gives you some support to climb up too. Uh, not a bad little segment, eh, folks? Now, if you want to see the full episode, it's available on our website, VasilisGarden.com, to our VIP members. Now, if you're not a VIP, subscribe today. So actually, subscribe by the end of today so you can get the first copy delivered to your door. That's the summer edition, which includes three other editions to be delivered to you seasonally. And you can actually get access to our TV shows and all our back issue magazines as a PDF. Now, like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and all the other platforms. But if you'd like to get an email sent to you daily with a little video post sub subscribe to our newsletter which is sent out daily and don't forget the spring run out black friday sale ends at midnight tonight up to 80 percent off is what you get with a coupon code 3aw it's going to expire at midnight and our prices are going up as of first of december if you haven't got your orders in yet what are you waiting for shop today and save otherwise forever hold your peace from me vasili maresi that's vasilisgarden.com <laughs>